All right, this video is on how to tune warm-up enrichment in Tuner Studio here for Mega Squirt. So first, we're going to go to Startup and Idle. Right here, you have the warm-up enrichment, and it brings you to this window here. And so let me explain kind of what's going on here. Basically, you're going to leave your minimum value at 100%. So when the car is warmed up and driving, you want this at 100%. Uh, that means it's taking right from the VE table. If you drop from this, it's actually pulling fuel from what your VE table is commanding. So you don't want to do that. Um, if you ever want to have a fun experiment, just grab one of these, pull it down, and try, uh, try starting it when it's at that temperature. It, it won't have enough fuel. So just leave all these um, at 100, at least when it's warm, or the areas that it doesn't have trouble starting. So the areas that you want to mess with are usually uh, when it's cold, uh, when the motor's maybe under 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This is at least what I've found. And there's a kind of a general curve that they give you when you uh, make a tune and tuner studio it'll just give you a little curve but this is what I've had to come up with to start my car in the morning I don't have um, an idle air control valve so I have no way to get extra air in and uh, it's a little bit tricky in the mornings especially when it's uh, below freezing so in my car if I don't have at least 200% uh, extra fuel um, it really just doesn't want to start at all. Like you'll sit there and you'll crank and you'll crank and you'll crank. But if I give it at least 200%, it uh, really, it'll, it'll start just to fire up pretty easy after just a, a couple cranks. And then what I've done to give this curve um, is I'll take the motor, go outside when it's like 30 degrees, uh, try starting it up, manipulating this around and doing a couple startups to find out where it likes it the best. And then as it warms up, um, I'll go and I'll, I'll adjust it. I'll see, you know, if it if I leave it up here, does it start any better than if it starts down here? And then uh, just move them around until I find kind of an even ground. Uh, basically, these change over here. So what you can do is you can interpolate if you want. You could like grab, say you're like, okay, uh, the, the coolant temperature between here and here I just want to interpolate those so like here to here you can use the interpolate key and it will kind of help interpolate flatten that curve out so you can use that too if you want um, but basically it tuning warm-up enrichment just takes a lot of cold starts you just go out there with your laptop at different temperatures and just find how much fuel you need to get the car started um, like I said, in my case, if I don't have at least 200% when it's below freezing outside, uh, the coolant temperature is really close to freezing, it, it won't start. And then I quickly taper that off because I found um, really close to 90 degrees, uh, maybe 70 to 90, the car really doesn't need any more. It's, it's good enough on the VE table, it can just start running. Um, it can start running just fine. Another thing you can do to help tune your warm-up startups in the morning is do your priming pulse. So your priming pulse is when you turn the key on, uh, it'll spray a pulse width of fuel just to have some fuel there, and uh, you can you can add a little bit more. Um, that helps just get initial blast of fuel in for startup, especially if you're running E85. I found that that makes kind of a Kind of a difference there. Uh, there's also cranking pulse. Um, I have my cranking pulse pretty high. Uh, that's just while you're cranking how much fuel are you giving. And like I said you really just have to tweak with this. Every motor is going to be a little bit different and depending on if you have um, an idle valve to let extra air in that'll be something you'll have to look at as well. But really it just takes a lot of cold starts. You just got to go out there with your laptop, 
move these up or down and just see if it needs fuel in those areas at different temperatures. Um, overall, I kind of found around 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the coolant temperature. It stops, at least my motor stops really needing extra fuel. It doesn't really mind. It starts right up. Um, but that's it. Basically, get your laptop out, get your jacket on, and go move these around and to get a, a good cold start on your car. Just takes a little bit of time, but after a little while, you get it to fire up pretty good, even in really cold temperatures. Thanks for watching.